Now, a couple of weeks ago, we brought you the story of British businessman Ryan Cornelius, who is currently detained in the United Arab Emirates. His lawyers and his wife gathered outside the Foreign Office to repeat their demand for Ryan to be released just yesterday. I'm going to welcome back to the show uh, Lord Clement Jones, who you may recall came on to tell us about this case a few weeks ago. He's been supporting the family. And uh, Lord Clement Jones, perhaps you could just give us a, a brief resume of Ryan's situation, just to bring our viewers and listeners uh, up to date again. Thank you very much for having me on again, Arlene. And the basic facts of the case are that some uh, 14 years ago, uh, Ryan Cornelius was uh, convicted on a trumped-up charge of fraud in Dubai uh, at the behest of uh, the director of the ruler's court, uh, Mohammed al Shaibani, and uh, subsequently uh, uh, was uh, uh, convicted for uh, and sentenced to 10 years uh, in jail. Uh, after 10 years, uh, his uh, uh, sentence was extended by 20 years under a, a retrospective piece of legislation that wasn't in force at the time of his original conviction. And uh, uh, I and uh, Simon Hughes, his former MP, took up the case uh, back in 2014. Uh, and since then, we've been trying to get the Foreign Office to do something, anything, uh, to help him. Uh, and that something has been extremely limited. And the most recent action that was taken was to write to Liz Truss uh, to ask her to uh, put uh, Magnitsky sanctions uh, on uh, Mr. Shaibani um, and uh, 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 the UN uh, uh, Committee on Arbitrary Detention uh, has now said that he is indeed arbitrarily detained. We've asked this trust to take that into consideration. And yesterday, uh, we put a petition in, a request in to the Metropolitan Police to investigate Mr. Shaibani uh, for torture uh, for two individuals, one of whom uh, is uh, Mr. Cornelius. So we are trying to pile the pressure on Liz Truss, who after all uh, is putting herself forward as a competent candidate for the Tory leadership. Yeah. And, and do you think the hiatus in government, which is inevitable when there's a leadership um, uh, contest going on, uh, Lord Clement Jones is adding to this because the last time we spoke, you had written to the Foreign Secretary. You've now taken a, a different approach by putting in a submission to the Metropolitan Police. Are you hoping to go in a number of different directions to try and highlight this case? We're trying to put as much pressure on as you can imagine. We're using every possible avenue. We've been very well served uh, by lawyers acting uh, pro bono, free uh, for the family. Uh, uh, Ryan's wife, Heather, uh, and brother-in-law, Chris Padgett, have been fantastic in uh, uh, pushing forward this campaign. But at the end of the day, it's got to be the Foreign Secretary who either uh, uh, puts pressure on the UAE or, uh, and uh, Dubai or, uh, and or uh, gets them to issue a, a, a clemency uh, a ruling uh, by the ruler of Dubai and uh, uh, imposes Magnitsky sanctions on Mr. Shaibani, who has a great deal of property in the United Kingdom, as does the ruler of Dubai, and therefore would be vulnerable to sanctions. Now, they've been prepared to do that for Russian oligarchs. Uh, they should be prepared to do that for somebody like Mr. Shaibani, um, who was behind the abduction of the two of the ruler's daughters, uh, who wanted to leave Dubai, uh, but he brought them back, uh, 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 and in one case criminally from Cambridge. Uh, uh, he, uh, he, uh, Shamsa, Princess Shamsa was abducted. And so uh, he's got a track record and we have so, to make sure yeah. sanctions are applied.